In this demonstration, we're going to be programming a circular pocket that has a standing island. And there are dimensions missing, so we're going to have to incorporate the guest feature. Let's be begin by selecting program. Go to begin. Then we'll select pocket and island. And it's asking us for the shape of the island, the island, which is circular. Uh, the center of the island we'll say is at zero, zero. Our Z rapid is 30 thousandths. We'll go a half an inch deep. And the radius of that is 2.1. We'll go counterclockwise in a single pass. Let's turn on our floor option. So we'll leave 15 thousandths cut here for the walls and 10 thousandths cut for the floor. Our RPM for roughing, for finishing, our plunge rate, our feed rate to rough, and our feed rate to finish. We use tool one to rough, and we're gonna use tool two to finish, and we'll do it all with a single rest pass. So now it wants to know the shape of the island, and this would be an irregular island. So my X begin point and my Y begin point uh, I'm going to begin at the circle on the right of zero, right here. So that would be 0.850 and Y zero. Then I would have an arc. That would be going counterclockwise. The X and Y endpoints here are unknown, so I'm going to guess. And you can, if you're using a, your control or a touch screen, you can just tap the screen here and get your numbers. If you're using the offline like I am, you can just click and say, enter your guess. And those numbers go in. The center of that circle is at X of 1.475 and zero. There is no Conrad. And the radius itself is 625. Move on. Then we have another arc. Uh, that's not tangent to the previous. Its direction is clockwise. The endpoints are unknown and not tangent, so we need to guess again. So we'll guess somewhere about here. That's in the right quadrant. So long as your guess is in the right quadrant, you're good to go. The center of that arc is at zero, zero. There is no connective radius. And that radius is one inch, 450. You notice how it's fixed up that first entity now? So as we move along, with our guesses, it's going to backfill uh, the proper geometry. Move on to the next arc. It's not tangent to the previous. It's running counterclockwise, the one down here on the bottom. The X and Y endpoints, I'm going to guess, are somewhere over here. Uh, the center of that arc is at uh, X of 0 and Y is minus 1.4750. And the radius of that arc is 625. You notice how that backfilled this one in. The only reason the, the arc is broken is it doesn't have enough uh, geometry yet to complete the task. So we'll move on to the next arc. It's not tangent, it's clockwise. I'm going to guess the endpoint to be somewhere over here. Uh, the center of that arc is xy0. And the radius of that arc is 1.450. Moving on, we're going to do the little concave arc here. It's not tangent, it's counterclockwise. We're going to guess the endpoint to be in this quadrant right here. Uh, the center of that arc is at minus 1.475 and 0, and the radius of that arc is 625. Move on. The next arc uh, is not tangent to the previous. It's clockwise. We're going to guess the endpoints are going to be somewhere right about there. The center of that arc is at 0, 0, and the radius of the arc is 1 inch 450. Move on. Now we'll do this concave arc here. 
not tangent, counterclockwise. We're going to guess the end point to be in this quadrant. The center of that arc is at x of 0. And y is at uh, 1.475 in the plus. And its radius uh, is 625. Now we have another arc, not tangent, clockwise. We're going to guess the endpoints to be right about here. The center of that is at x, y, 0, and the radius is 1 inch 450. Now we need an arc to, come, to take us back to where, from, to where we started. So not tangent, counterclockwise. The x endpoint is at 50 and 0. And the center of that arc is at 1.475 and 0. So it's completed the arc. You can see you don't even have to put the radius in. It's already got it figured out. And we'll end it. And then we can end the island. And that is the end of this program demonstration.